All green lights, everything's a go Money on the table, count it real slow Pull up that rosé, twist up that Cali drove When you hustle hard, no matter what is the info what it do, Ski Sun Doolers? It's your boy Rob Jim Blog TV coming straight out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Yes, I'm repping the Cincinnati house for you guys here. Can't see this is all white. Now, in this video, I'm going to do an NBA video containing my top um, rookies to look out for in the NBA. Now, it's not really no order, but I kind of ordered them, but it's really not an order. I may miss some people, but hey, it is what it is. Now, I'm going to start off with OKC Perry Jones the third. Yes. I like Perry Jones III. I love the man Baylor. You know, I feel like that he is going to contribute very, very well as far as backing up a Kevin Durant. He's lanky. Um, you know, he's a crasher on the boards, you know, hard and a good perimeter defender. So those are some good things about Perry Jones. Yes, he has, you know, a lot as far as the work on his offense. But I think, you know, he if his health stays, you know, if he stays healthy, he will be a good, good gem for the OKC Thunder. You know, they will have a nice, solid, decent player, a nice swing man, you know. So um, he will be, like I said, the perfect backup for Kevin Durant. You know, he and he also has a little athleticism size to him, you know. Um, so I'm looking forward to Perry Jones to seeing how he plays, you know. And also, for those who don't know, he's from Baylor, but I'm pretty sure you guys know. Now, Moving on, and I know a lot of you guys probably don't know about this dude, but I watched him a lot at Vanderbilt, and his name is John Jenkins, a shooting guard. He's with the Atlanta Hawks. This dude, let me tell you, this dude is lights out. He can shoot the three. His inside game is, is nice. He can. He's just a great, great all-around shooter. Uh, I'm going to give you some little stats on him. He shot 44% from the three-point line. He was shot 54% from inside the arc, so that just right there lets you know that this guy can shoot. Um, he's a great shooter. He's replacing Joe Johnson. They needed another shooter, so that's another, you know, that should help the Atlanta Hawks. You know, I'm not saying he's going to be an all-star player, you know, but he's going to, I think he's going to do pretty good in the NBA. Um, he was 10th all-time at Vanderbilt, um, list for 1,666 points, second all-time in threes with 306. Look out for John Jenkins, y'all. I think he's going to do pretty well. Moving on, Dion Waiter. Shooting guard came from Syracuse. He is with the Cleveland Cavaliers. I think him and Kyrie Irving is going to be a nice little dynamic little duo. Now, now he's not an explosive offensive player, but he can get the job done. He's a great, great slasher and cutter and great to go into the basket, banging it on people and stuff like that. He has a nice, nice, pretty, pretty shot, you know. Um, he's not a, you know, he don't have a great, great skill set, but... He is a hell of an attacker, like I said, to the rim, to the basket, and that would help um, Kyrie Irving out a lot. He has the, the, the potential to be something very great, a nice little combo guard. And um, like I said, he's going to provide a, a great offensive presence. Now, moving on. Sorry, I'm looking at my notes, guys, so just bear with me. My guy that I love, and I, and I, you know, I watched him grow as a player at Kansas, and this will be Thomas Robinson from Kansas, and he is with the Sacramento Kings. Now, this dude is the most NBA. He has the most NBA-ready body. He's chiseled, big, fucking just a muscular big dude. Um, you know, he, he was a double-double machine at Kansas. You know, um, he averaged 17 points, 11 rebounds, um, and at least one block a game. He's a freakish, athletic, strong you know, power dunker. Um, he should help DeMarcus Cousin out a lot. They should, they should, you know, play off well with each other. Now, I'm not saying that he's going to come in the league and 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 you know score buku numbers because they also have a lot of little nice offensive pieces already. But he will help DeMarcus Cousin out a lot. I feel him and um, they should get along very well, man. It's going to be something very interesting to see. Now, moving on. This is kind of like my uh, sleeper pick as far as. Um, rookie of the year, but this is my guy Harrison Barnes from North Carolina, which is with the Golden State Warriors. Now, for those who don't know about him, he was a hell of a you know player at North Carolina. Can shoot the three, can shoot the mid range shot, and also he was actually strong and can and can cram it. Um, he's probably, he's like like I said, the dark horse candidate for rookie of the year. Um, he's a, like I said, he's a deadly shooter from three, um, and inside he can. Put up points in a hurry. Um, he averaged 17 points under 30 minutes per game at North Carolina. So that right there lets you know that the dude can score very quickly. 
Like I said, he's strong. The only thing I can say about him is he must work on his handles and um, post game and defense a little bit. If he work on that, he's going to be a nice player in the NBA. Now, moving on. Um, Bradley Bill from Florida, shooting guard that is with the Washington Wizards. Now, I think that him and John Wall is going to be a nice duo, you know, if John Wall can stay healthy, which I'm pretty sure he probably will. This dude, you know, John Wall needed a sidekick, and he has one right now. This dude was a well-rounded athlete. You know, he was he's a nice slasher to the rim. He can attack, shoot the three. He can just shoot from anywhere on the court. You know, he can, you know, he's a, he's a, also, you know, also he's a nice, um, perimeter defender you know people sleep on him about that now another guy Damian Leonard point guard play for Portland Weaver State he's going to be a nice addition this dude can shoot the three lights out um he's going to help Demarcus Aldridge and um uh Batum Wesley Johnson he's a great scorer in school he can shoot from outside inside you know he only thing is he needs to become more of a passer you know more of a first floor general which I'm pretty sure he will now moving on Michael Kill Grizzlies from U Michael Kid Gilchrist from UK. Um, you know, now he's with the Charlotte Bobcats. Great slasher, aggressive, good rebounder, and good at clogging the passing lanes on defense. Um, great athlete, high motor. Um, not a great, great score, but that's something that he needs to work on. If he work on that, then he, he could be possibly a threat in the NBA. You know, he got to hone his jump shot and become more of a playmaker and a you know all around better defender, and he should be good. Um, now one more I'm going to do is my main guy, you know, Anthony Davis from UK. Now he's with the, um, New Orleans, um, Hornets. You guys know about him. It's not much to say about him. This dude is a beast. Block shots, rebound, could score. Um, damn it. Like I said, he's a block machine. He Average 4.2 blocks at, um, UK. 14.63%. Double, double machine. All you got to do is keep working on this offense. He'll be good. It's not too much to say about him. Now, some people that I didn't, you know, I couldn't mention, but, you know, you can go with Austin Rivers. I'm looking forward to seeing him. Kendall Marshall, John Henson, Jeremy Lamb, Andre Dr Drummond, um, Jerry Sullinger, Marcus T. It's, it's a whole lot that I'm looking forward to see. But those are some of the key guys. So I'm going to get out of here. Comment, subscribe, Fraby, tell me who you think the rookies you are looking forward to see. Hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, you know, do all that good stuff. Y'all know my links, man. Make sure you check out my previous videos. Peace.